Welcome to part three of the Vancouver Canada vlogs. I hope you have been enjoying these as much as I have and in on this day which is day nine I went to Whistler and Whistler is known to be one of the most beautiful places on earth. It has alpine mountains and ski resorts um, that are world famous and it has one of the world's second largest granite mountains and the drive is so scenic as you can see from these clips it was just amazing i stayed at executive at mountainside hotel <laughs> The next day I visited some of the national parks that were all surrounded around Whistler. They are there are so many and they are all just so beautiful in their own way. So I actually went to Brandywine Falls uh, Provincial Park, that's what it's called, and saw this beautiful waterfall and there was the rainbow as you can see there. It is just so breathtaking, you could honestly just like you just it's just unexplainable how how incredible the views are um around whistler and then further up from this waterfall is actually a view of uh, a lake called daisy lake so you have to walk along this path um which is really nice peaceful and then you get to see the view of the lake which is just so tranquil with um all, surrounded by all the trees and i thought that we we would like would be able to get closer there uh, but i don't think you actually can because it's just so isolated have you seen the path <laughs> let's go Oh look, alligator. <laughs> a dog park in vancouver i love how that they have so many dog parks your dog can just be let off the lead and it can just go absolutely anywhere in the dog park so it's just great so today i'm off heading off to english bay beach and what's it called granville island granville yeah. island yeah granville island so i'll be filming some footage of that um, today is really sunny, it's like 24 degrees, um, which is like so nice. I've been really lucky with the weather being so like sunny rather than like rainy in Vancouver because that's how the weather usually is here. So yeah. Should we go? So I've just arrived at English Bay Beach and I've actually got a beautiful view of it to show you. I am actually shocked at how incredibly beautiful it is. Um, the only thing is you can't swim in the water because there is eco light in, which is a bit of a shame because it's stunning. Look at that view. And I will be trying to show you more of it as I go on and get closer to the sea. And you've got this like lovely green space area um, with like a little hill next to English Bay Beach, which is really cool too.
so peaceful here really really good place to like come and chill um just outside you know the city life kind of thing Solano Beach so it was we basically took the boat as you just saw in the previous clip from English Bay to Kitsilano Beach it's a really really short trip and it's not too expensive either and I will just show you the beautiful view that is in front of me right now so that was the boat that we took and this that is English Bay and then over here is Kitsilano Beach so all these boats are so cool. This boat right here is actually like over a hundred years old. So this is the beach. I'm not sure if this is Kitsilano. I'm guessing. I think this is Kitsilano Beach. That's how it's supposed to be No, I was told that it wasn't as good as like English Bay Beach, but it's still nice. Just walking along the sea line now. It's so beautiful and peaceful here. There's not that many people, but the people that are here are just kind of like they're allowing their dogs to go in the water. This is Kitsilano Beach. And yeah, it's just really small and it's just, I guess because it's away from downtown, like not that many people come here. So it's just like a nice retreat. So here are all the dogs that I was mentioning. Oh, look at that corner. <laughs> I can't believe I got that on camera. That is so cute. Is that definitely a corgi? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Baby. Oh, this is too cute. <laughs> Look at them! Teddy would love it here. Teddy is the dog that we have. I collected some shells. It's the only thing that's right to do when you come to a beach tomorrow. I think. Look at all of these. <laughs> After we had visited Kitsilano Beach, we decided to walk along the sea and explore further by going to Granville Island and looking at Granville Market, which is a really big market and there's so many different restaurants, uh, catering businesses, fresh fruits, uh, cakes, it is just really cool. So you will see that in the next clips. I really like these houses slash flats, I'm not sure what they are, uh, because they have balconies and they're facing the sea with like lots of water lilies and all the uh, willow trees, which I thought was so cute. I'm now just arriving at Granville Island. Um, and there is like a market here so I will film some of that for you and I'll be going around to the shops and potentially picking up some things from the market. 
So, so far it looks like there's lots of galleries at Granville Island, which is really nice to see. Lots of like independent kind of shops. Um, so it's really, really nice. So many ships and boats are over here um, near the seawall part and um, just past English Bay. Just going on a walk and then we'll be off home to eat some donuts that um, we bought from the market. back to the rhododendron garden in stanley park there aren't actually too many flowers in this garden there's more like green plants and um, it's still like nice to walk around the soil looks really fertile <laughs> this is really really beautiful they've kept they've kept the garden so well designer shops and some other shops like Bath and Body Works which isn't in the UK so keep on watching. Now just going to look in Dior and just see what pieces they've got for autumn. <laughs> I've decided instead of going to Tiffany, I'm going to go to Jimmy Choo because it is one of my favourite like uh, shoe stores and not bag stores. Victoria's Secret. Here we come. This store is huge. I haven't seen a store this big in England, so that's why I'm going to try it out. Hyatt Regency is over there. So I just came out of Victoria's Secret Ooh. and it is honestly the best what? Victoria's Secret I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. You have to come to the Victoria's Se Secret on Barad Street um, and, Robson. Robson. and Robson Street. It is like so, so good. And guess what? I got myself, I treated myself to this, um, to a few things from Victoria's Secret. It is so cool. It literally matches my top as well. That wasn't meant to happen, but ooh, it's meant to be. <laughs> Club Monaco is over here. Uh, honestly, shopping is like the best. You have to come to Vancouver for all the shops here. They have Zara, like a really big Zara as well. Now just on our way to Aritzia. That's how you say it, Aritzia. And apparently it's like a really popular shop in Vancouver. So that is Aritzia. Here are some pieces in Aritzia. Okay, so if you ever come to Vancouver, I highly recommend going to Aritzia. I just bought a few clothes from there as well. They're so good, I'd say, especially if you've got a petite body size, um, like I do, uh, if you're like size six to eight. And also, I have to mention with the Victoria's Secret store, they had loads of like flower body lotions. So they have like gardenia, they have like lily, and I wish I bought them now. Um, and they also have like sprays of like flower uh, scents, which is so cool. And I haven't seen that in England. So I'm like literally just so excited about it. And now just, I really want to go back to that. Like, ah, flower scents, flower scented body lotion, flower scented anything. You know, it's just like, so nice and I just, I'm, I'm kind of sad I didn't buy it but maybe one day if I ever come back. So I um, decided to go back onto the e-scooters for the last time. So fun um, and look at the 
scenery behind. So this is just, yeah, this is just like a set, a stop right now um, along the way to Sandy Park. And the reason why I've actually come back to do the e-scootering is because it is just so good for your mind. This is like the perfect mindfulness, wellness activity um, because you're next to the sea and like all the nature and there's like even the landmark with the, with the Lions Gate bridge right down there um, and it's just like so refreshing. So today there is not as much fog Ooh, as there was because there was like um, a fire and like all the smoke came onto Vancouver but now you can clearly see the mountains, the trees and Lions Gate from the same stop that I was at a few days ago so Bye. it looks a lot Chris, can better. You film me? Can you film me going off? Ready? Yes, I will film you, but first I'm just getting the scenery. Ready? Go, go. <laughs> that is my 16 year old sister being crazy. So this is the view and oh my God, it's just spectacular. Just come to another stop next to Lion Gates Bridge. I honestly think it's just so amazing here. some class. <laughs> Someone's swimming. I thought Can you show an angle in front there? Yeah. So just so fine to me now. 